what are you trying to say tell us is that with the Lord on your side, you're not making any loss. <laughs> <laughs> what are you telling us? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Trader Spin. What it do, what it do. <laughs> How's it, man? All good, bro. All um, good. All good. Yeah. All good having you on your own channel. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Hey. <laughs> um, tell me, bro. Yeah. What made you start trading? Dog, yeah, obviously, bro, for the money, but I know um, there was this one guy that I checked on uh, on Facebook. He kept on posting M24. You check this thing of M24 to someone who doesn't know how to trade. It looks complicated, right? So I was like, bro, what is this thing, right? And uh, he was like, ah, this is M24, Forex, whatnot. And I was like, okay, cool. And then, you know, I kept on coming across uh, these things. You know, it was... You know, like, it started to trend in a way, bro. So I was like, damn, maybe let me, let me just try this thing out. It, it might work out for me, right? So tried it, and uh, here I am right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear yeah. you, man. So tell us about your journey. How has it been? How long has it taken you to get to this point? Uh, Hey, dog. Me, I keep on mixing up the years, but I think I started to trade um 20... 17 2017 2018 but let me just say 2018 right so um hey my journey has been you know ups and downs but um it has been okay bro it, it, it has been okay um everything started to change i think 2021 2022 but let me just say 2022 um the end of 2021 to 2022 that's when you know things started to change but i know it's been a great journey with a lot of challenges of course but you know as you continue to 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 um to somehow stay in this industry you then you know start to discover ways to conquer those challenges and all of those things yeah but i know it's it's been a great journey bro can lie no that's nice man can lie bro um, what challenge or this disadvantage would you say has been the greatest in your journey uh, hey, like my crazy struggle. Yeah, yeah. Um, yo, bro, I remember when I started to trade, man. When I started to trade, firstly, bro, I was just a kid. You feel me? Out, out of high school, didn't know what to do with my life. Um, you know, I was waiting to get into university, but I, you know. I, I didn't really know if my marks were good and all of those things. Bro, the, like, the greatest one of, like, uh, uh, I'm going to end with, like, the craziest uh, struggle, bro. So, like, one of the things, bro, it was, for me, it was seeing mentors, right? Seeing mentors having to live a lavish lifestyle and um, me not even being able to afford their cause. Like, I'm sure a lot of traders know that feeling of being like, eh, shock, eh, sharp. They, they, st like, if I was selling a course, right, let us say I was selling a course, you are like, you know, a beginner trader being like, hey, sharp, there's trader spin, you see him, he's doing okay, hey, how I wish to buy his course so that I can be like him, right? So, for me, bro, I never really had that money, right? So, it was a bit challenging, and, um, I just felt like it's, 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 um, I'm never going to get there because all that was in my mind was, you know what, if I can just get that person's course, I can't be like him, right? So I just never really thought I'd, I'd, I'd somehow make it on my own, right? Film like, I just never really thought I'd make it on my own. But um, time went by, dog. I couldn't afford courses. I couldn't even find an account, dog. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I, I imagine if I'm not able to afford a course, most definitely I'm not going to be able to have money to fund, right? So, yeah. you know just going to get crazy so i couldn't even afford to fund secondly like this is one of my craziest craziest struggle dog not having data to trade my guy Age, bro. <laughs> yeah like i was still i was still like i was still you know young you know i was still uh, excited about trading bro like you know i was like because i remember i i had taken it up to myself and i was like it's okay in the meantime, while I do not have money to 
to buy courses. Let me just somehow try as much as I can to teach myself how to trade so that when I then buy the course, it's going to be easier for me to understand, right? So, bro, I was so much hungry for information, dog. I was so much hungry for information, but I couldn't log into my M24 because I never, yeah. like, had data. So that somehow limited me, dog. Like, I remember my sister's mom, I was staying with my sister's mom, right? Okay. So she, she used to, like, come um, on weekends, and uh, she she's a teacher, so I ain't gonna lie. Like it happened way back. Like even when I I I, I was living a sinful life, right? So I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I used to like sneak into her purse, into her purse, <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and steal some couple of rents, dog, just so mm. I can buy data to get me through the whole um the whole week. But you know, probably at 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 buy data, and that data would last me up to like Tuesday. And mm. then on Wednesday, and then on Thursday, Friday, dog, like, I, I, I like, it's never. Bad. Yeah, it was bad, dog. Right. You feel me? Up until I then got myself a job, I worked at a scrapyard, dog. Okay. Imagine a kid like me with not that much strength, like, I worked right. at a scrapyard. <laughs> and they were required to lift, dog, scrap. So I worked at a scrapyard. Um, you know, it got better because I was now able to do it. I was now able to somehow buy myself data and, um, okay. you know, and, you know, buy myself some, probably some toiletries and all, and, and, and all of those things. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was crazy. But, like, me not having money for data, I could say that there, there was just something that was, you know, because it took, I even my mom, though, I couldn't ask her because all she kept on saying was, go to school yeah. to check. So I couldn't, like, ask for support from her because all she, you, you know parents, bro, you, you know parents, yeah. all they say is go to school. You're waiting to go to university, just focus on university, on applying, focus on this. So it was like I walked this journey on my own, my guy, you know, like, okay. there's, there's, I don't think there's, besides the Lord, I don't think there's anyone that I could say, that okay, sharp. You know what? That guy right there um, lifted me up on my worst moments. Nah, bro. Mm. It was it was only me. It was only me, bro. I lifted myself up. Could say, yo, dog. It was it wasn't a nice it it, it 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 wasn't a nice journey, bro. But I'm glad it happened because it it it, it um it make me grow. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that I faced those challenges too. Hey, I hear you, bro. Humble beginnings. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell us, um, you know, what is a specific event that was a turnaround or that was a highlight in your journey? That way you saw, you know, what things are turning around indeed. Um, when I, uh, I could say, when I bought my first car, yeah, yeah, I could say that oh, sharp when I bought my first car. Then um, that's when I saw that, okay, sharp, I'm getting somewhere, dog. I'm getting somewhere. Yeah. If I'm able to buy a car that someone who went to varsity bought, right? So that means Kuri, maybe I don't need to go to the university. If I was able to, to do that on my own, yeah. then it means Kuri, this thing of school, I'm not, I'm not against school, yeah. right? So I was like, eh, then it means that, you know, this thing is, is really working. Because remember, now they started to treat me differently. Even like in my family, even like mm. everyone started to treat me differently. Because now I had proof that, okay, sharp, you are seeing me doing this and that. And, you know, this thing is really working. So a lot of people then started to somehow pay attention to me. Even family members then somehow started to take me uh, serious. Because they saw that, okay, sharp, okay, we did see... Sakile doing this thing for years, but we never really thought that, you know, it could change his life like this. So when I bought my first car, dog, that's when I can say that. Ish, that's when I saw that, okay, I'm getting somewhere now, you know. I just have to continuously do what I've been doing to get here, right? So ever since from there, I've been just, you know, doing those little things and uh, making sure that I also hide my my other moves 
because as much as I share my life here on YouTube, there are some other moves that I do not share. You feel me? Like there are just some things that I'm doing outside of YouTube that I'm probably never ever going to share. Um, even if I do have some income streams outside of trading, that's something that I'm never ever going to share because I feel like it's 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 meant to be kept. Yeah, I think it's meant to be kept private. Yeah. So what kept you going after your first car? One would say, ah, I've bought a car, let me relax. What, what has been keeping you going to strive for more, to go for more profits, to want more? What is this fire that's burning inside you? Yo, building my mother a home. Dog. <laughs> nice. Can't lie. That's like one of my biggest dreams, dog. Um, so I was like to myself that, you know what? Up until my family is straight, I'm not going to stop, right? So, like, me, I'm a family man, dog. Like, I, I, I love my family so much. So, I just want them to have a better life. So, what, what has been, like, pushing me to that extent was me knowing that, it's say, you know, I, 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 I need to, like, make sure that my family is straight, my family has dinner that has got like seven colors <laughs> my, <laughs> yeah. yeah like my little boy is straight my sister is straight everyone like i just want my family to live a nice comfortable life and i want them to see that okay sharp we are living this good it was because of sakil like that 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 would just make me super 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 happy bro like my family means a lot i, I don't know i don't know why, why i love them so much but i just yeah I just love them a lot, dog. So that's like one of the reasons that it, that has been keeping me going, um, to see my family straight, everyone straight, bro. My cousin, I don't care if if you are my brothers, you are my son's uncle or you are uncle, but yeah. the fact that we related, I wanna see you straight. So, yeah. So, what trading strategy do you use? Do you have a trading strategy? What what, what are you using to become successful? What tools? What mechanisms? Yeah. Um, yeah, I do, obviously, I do have a trading strategy. Um, I'm a self-taught forex trader, dog. Mm -hmm, nice. So, I use price action, right? So, I, I combine price action okay. um, with some other concepts, right? Because uh, while I was somehow doing my, uh, 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 coming up with my strategy, what I discovered was that, you know, price action is manipulated a lot. Mm. So, I needed to get something, um, to to somehow back it up with right so so i needed something to like somehow back it up with so yeah it's 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 price action i have my own self-made uh price action strategy that i developed from the beginning talk and i've been using it ever since and the reason why um i then decided to not um somehow proceed to look f uh, uh to somehow venture into buying courses was the fact that um i felt like forex trading is all about fixing mistakes yeah. so if 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 i put someone else's strategy i'm not going to know the main core fundamentals of his strategy so i'm not going okay. to be able to fix those mistakes but hence you know i'm using my strategy so if i encounter encounter a problem i'm going to be able to somehow you know to like fix those uh, uh, uh mistakes so yeah yeah well, i hear you man so what you're saying is um for one to be successful in forex trading you need to gather all the information that's out there um find a way to bring it together and combine it in order for you to get a specific strategy that suits you as, yeah. a, as an individual yeah i always advise traders to 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 come up with their own strategy bro. okay like find out what you like if you mm. like to be a risk taker then sharp come up with a fundamental strategy if you like to hold trades for months sharp swing trade if you like to uh, uh trade daily sharp be a day trader it's all about um just coming up with their own thing because that's another thing that is killing a lot of kids nowadays right so they want to be spoon fed all they do is to chase mentors wanting to buy courses and, and all of those mm. things and that thing is going to mess them up right so just come up with your own thing dog you feel me um come up with your own strategy because trust me that's that's what is going to work for you because you've built that thing 
and uh, you're, it's, 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 you're going to make it come to life, right? Hence, you know, someone else's crafts, dog, it's going to be hard, dog. To, yeah. impro- to even improve the strategy that you bought from someone, it's going to be hard. But if it was yours, most definitely you're going to be able to do what to be like, Aish, okay, let me add this yeah. uh, because I did this, you know. So, yeah. Because so you must just trial and test until you get to yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Even even up until this day, dog, mm-hmm. I'm still working on my strategy. Mm. I believe that if I say that my strategy has a win rate of 75%, I have to work, dog, so that it can, one day it can have a win rate of like 85, right? 84, right? 90, you, just, you feel mm. me? So I mustn't just let them play. Okay, sharp, my strategy has a win rate of 80%, right? So I have to consistently work so that I can somehow increase that win rate. Yeah, I hear you, man. Let's yeah. get to the, the psychological part of forex trading. Yeah. I see a lot of people have been through depression. Some have even went as far as committing suicide. <laughs> hey, it's wild out there. Yeah, people yeah, can not handle losing their money. They've taken loans, hey, sold their houses. Enlighten us on that part. How have you overcome that aspect of foreign forex trading? For me, it was for me it was easy because for me I never really had that much money to risk. Mm. So for me it was like I don't have anything to give to the market. Mm. So if probably I had an inheritance or what what not or I got a was working probably i'd be telling my story of me having to trade using my inheritance money risking all of it and losing all of it in forex because i'm sure that if i was given money back then um i i I definitely would have blown it but you know for me i had a nice upbringing because i never really had that much money so i just you know there's there's not that much money that i can say that I lost because I was just a little kid. And um, that is why um, a center account made me who I am today, dog. Because, mm. you know, there was when I was like, okay, sharp, I need to somehow find ways to grow this account, even though I may not have like a 50,000 US dollars account. But now I, I have to find way to somehow grow this account. And that was where, you know, I r- did my research. And that was when I somehow find out that, okay, sharp, a cent account can help me um, to somehow, you know, grow, 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 and uh, up until it is sus. kind of like a big account. Yeah. Okay. What is the Senti account? Some of us don't know <laughs> what it <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, it basically it's where you deposit money and then it's going to be multiplied by a hundred. Meaning now that if I'm going to deposit 10 USD, it's going to appear as a thousand US dollars. Um, on my um, on my cent account, right? Mm. So that way, but that thousand US dollars is equivalent to ten USD. Oh, I see. That way, I'm going to be able to have freedom in just trading that money. Because if I take ten USD and I somehow fund it in a standard account and then I use zero point zero one, chances are by the end of the day, I'm going to have blown it, Eish. right? Yeah. But if I take that ten USD and then it appears as one thousand US dollars on a cent account. Doc, I might trade that thing for even like months hmm. if I use like 0.02, 0.01 on that or 0.010 on that cent account. So yeah, that's that basically that's just in simple facts, that's what a cent account is, Doc. No. Oh. So we're still on the psychological part of everything. What you see plays a major role in your psychology. Um, firstly, I'm not an, uh, a risk taker, firstly, that's what helps me. Secondly, I enter using a, a higher time frame, all right? So that helps me to, I can say that, you know, that somehow helps me a lot, dog. Because if I enter using a higher time frame, then that means I'm not going to be able to just um, uh, open my MT4 now and then to check on my running trades. I'm just going to place a trade, maybe say on the six hour time frame and then probably just leave it to run and then come back the next morning to, to see how the trade is doing. So that somehow is really, that somehow really, really helps um, with my psy- psychology because I know how opening your MT4 now and then can mess you up as a trader. It can make you move your stop loss to break even, do this and that, uh, or maybe add more positions. And another thing, risking 1% to 2% of your account, dog, 
because you're not going to get emotionally attached with your trades. You're going to be like, ah, sharp. If I lose the trade, ah, yeah. sharp. You know, at the end of the day, it's one percent. So, you know, that's that's one of the things that um really helps in my psychology. And you know, apart from having a plan, following rules, mm. uh, you know, and all of those things, stuff. Okay, nice man. Um, I've been hearing you speak about God. You speak about the Lord. Yeah. Tell us, man, how has God played a role in your trading success? Uh, hey, dog. That's a that's a good question. Hey, he's 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 played a role, dog. Cause it's funny, dog. Cause the reason why I put jesus first in my success is he has proven to me that he's the one dog and i always tell people that sharp even if it's about um even if it's about um even if it's about trading knowing your strategy and all of those but bro you can't just have money dog you can't just have money dog it's 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 it, it's not simple as just doing that and you know trading and having money so for me, God has played a major role because each and every time I achieve something big, he's going to tell me. For instance, um, before I bought my first car, he told me, and he was like, my son, something is about to happen to you. Mm. And, you know, it's going to make you happy. And um, that's when I got myself the second car. Even when I got my, even when I got my second car, he told me, he was like, my son, something big is about to happen also. Right, mm. and there are some other things that I've accomplished that I'm not going to say here. Yeah. Right, but he always tells me, talk, and that's what makes me know that okay, sharp. All of these things that I've been achieving, it's because of him, because he then comes and informs me that this thing is going to happen. Meaning now that you know he made a way for the thing to happen at the end of the day. Nice man. Yeah. So, what are you trying to say? Tell us is that. With the Lord on your side, you're not making any loss. <laughs> 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 what are you telling us? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Doc, I do make losses, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a mystery, Doc. I can't explain that thing, Doc. I can't explain how he works. But uh, yeah, for sure, Doc, I do take losses. And sometimes you find out that probably in a week, I do have a drawdown, but what's 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 more important is that you know at the end of the month, um, I break even and then I make more than what I've lost. All right, so yeah, I do take losses, dog. That's <laughs> that's for sure. Hey, yeah, that's that's nice, man. That's nice. Nice to know you also blow accounts. You also <laughs> human. <laughs> uh, that's nice to know, bro. Yeah. So we we two now. After Forex, you want to do this for a lifetime or you want to use the money here to fund other mm, dreams? To be honest with you, um, yeah, for sure. Trading is something that I'm going to do lifetime, but I don't think appearing on, on, on YouTube is something that I'm going to do forever, you know. Probably once I start to have myself a family, I might even like, you know, disappear. And, and uh, I don't know, I'm just saying... But um, yeah, trading for sure it's something that I'm going to do li uh, um, li lifetime, and uh, I do have um other things going that you know that those things are being funded by trading, which are these things that I cannot obviously say out loud and be like, yeah, me I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So yeah, forex trading is definitely fu funding some of my dreams, okay. and um yeah, but. <coughs> As for me having to be on YouTube, hey, yeah, I feel like there's just going to be a time where I'm going to be like, it's okay right now. Yeah. I need to be low key, right? And, you know, I just need to be not seen. So, but, uh, yeah, definitely trading is funding most of my dreams. Though. Yeah. I mean, closing, bro, can you give advice to young Forex traders, to new Forex traders? Can you give them hope? Can you give them ad advice to, to uh, what to do? First, first things first, my guy, just teach yourself how to trade. Teach yourself how to trade, dog. You feel me? Like, that's just one advice that I give to a lot of traders coming up, right? Stop following the crowd. 
those people that you see at the top, most chances are 99% chances they're not going to help you. Mm. Um, just teach yourself how to trade, come up with your own trading strategy. Um, don't, don't be fooled by what you see. You know, just dog. This thing requires you, dog. This thing requires you. So you must try as much as you can to be a self-taught forex trader. There is like one advice I'd give to upcoming traders.